Maybe I was wrong, guys. Maybe I was wrong. All right, so I started out doing this video today um, to tell y'all why you maybe shouldn't buy these. This is the Shield Arms 15 round magazines, and the last time I shot it in this gun, I had all kinds of problems. All kinds of problems, like tons of problems. And it just would not feed. So I actually went back and put in the factory. I do have the, you know, magazine uh, release right here, the Shield Arms magazine release in it. I bought the premium magazine release. So I went back to the standard um, Glock magazines. Now they say you should use these uh, magazine releases because these magazines will tear up your um, standard Glock magazine release, but I never had it function. And I wanna tell you why I'm redoing this video. I, I didn't post my other one um, for some reason. I can't remember why it was. I, some of the video didn't show up or something, but I was having all kinds of problems. And someone said, this screw right here may be too long and causing these to malfunction. But now what blew my mind is, I had the same setup on this 43X I did this 48, and it caused the same problem with this 43X. But when I went back to the factory magazines, it run perfectly fine. Let me show you that. Okay, same screws I had in the 48. The, the shield arms didn't work with these either. Factory magazines. Ran perfect, so no issues. So now tell me something, maybe you can explain this to me. It seemed to have worked, which blows my mind, but if this screw was too long and it was causing malfunctions with the Shield Arms magazines, why is it not causing malfunctions with this magazine? But my next question is, is why did that Shield Arms magazine just run in that 48 and it didn't before? Now I have like six magazines and we're gonna be testing those. Some of them are 15 rounders and some of them are 20 rounders. I'm fixing to load up more of the 20 rounders right now. Don't know if I'm gonna go, I'll probably fill it completely full just to give it a chance. Um, the malfunction being completely full. But um, I do have some 20 rounders uh, that we can check out as well, but that's not making any sense. I know you're not supposed to run Shield Arms magazines with the Glock mag release, but um, it makes me want to do it, and I'm probably going to. Hang, hang on just a second. Okay, now again, they tell you don't do this, and I'm telling you probably shouldn't either. You should probably buy the Shield Arms mag release, but I've got to test this theory because I don't know why that screw would cause a problem with this and not that. It don't make no sense. Well, I guess that's why you shouldn't choose uh, Glock's mags. It, it did malfunction, but it's probably because the magazine just fell completely out of the gun. It won't even lock in. For some odd reason, this won't even lock in. I don't know why, but it will not lock in. Did I break the magazine release? Nope, still works. But for some odd reason, the Glock magazine, I thought they would still work. They just would break them or like wear them out. But apparently it doesn't even work. Let me try another one. Okay, this 20 rounder seemed to fit. Let's see what happens. It's locked in. I don't get it. I don't get it. I just, I'm not understanding. All right, guys, I guess I can recommend <laughs> What the heck? None of these magazines, I have six, and none of these ran through either of these pistols last time. None, none of them ran through either one of them. That is blowing my mind, because these are Gen 2 magazines, by the way. Um, neither of them worked in these pistols. I mean, I decked these things out. I bought the premium mag catch. I bought the mag well. I had an optic on this, but I'd take it off to test something else. I bought, you know, six of these, three just 15 rounders for concealed carry. 
and now bought the three um, plus five extensions to go on them for a backup magazine. And uh, now they're working. I don't, I'm not understanding that at all because I never had a single one of these function in any of these two guns last time. Not, not one magazine run a whole magazine through either of these guns. Not one. Uh, let me load up some of those other magazines. I know I test them all, but let me just load them up. This is this is blowing my mind. All right, guys, I put 10 rounds in four magazines. So uh, I didn't want to waste all that ammo just run them through here. I do have my 48. I'm not going to run any more in that factory mag release. So we're just going to run them through the 48. This is not making any sense at all. my fault. I didn't have the magazine all the way in. I don't know. That's crazy. Now, so what my next question is, was it that screw or did the guns just get broke in or something? I'm not understanding this. Maybe you guys can help me. You guys are the one that said that screw could possibly be hitting that uh, extractor rod in there, which can cause a problem if you're using too long a screw. But there again, I used the same screw in this gun and uh, it just functioned. I'm not... I'm not lying to you guys. I never had a single one of those magazines function in either one of these pistols the last time. That's why I, that's why I took all this stuff out. And now I'm just going to go home and put it all back in and do some more testing because that blew my mind. I want to thank you guys for throwing that out there. And that's the only reason I did this video is because you said that was, you know, the problem. I don't know if that was the problem or not, but um, at least now I'm, I have more rounds in my 43 and my 48, I guess. That's why I love you guys, because you make me do stuff like this that makes my life better. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you again, because I really didn't think that'd work. I thought this video was going a whole other direction, and I was going to tell you not to buy these. But now, I guess they're a go as far as it goes right now until I get a little bit more testing done. I love you guys. See you next time.